I have never seen these reviews before in my life. Let's see what people had to say. I did not choose these reviews, so this should be super interesting. I'm here to read some mean reviews. So, here we go. One star reviews. Worse than every children's book, pop-up book, Twilight, teen romance, Dean Koontz, Scooby-Doo mystery, you name it. I've seen more entertaining chemistry textbooks. Seriously worse than every single book I've ever laid eyes on. This is the absolute bottom of the barrel scraper. Wow, not just the bottom of the barrel. It's the thing you would use to scrape. This is the book equivalent of a spatula is what he's saying. Worst piece of shit I've ever read. Worse than reading a bubblegum wrapper for one cent. Okay. So terrible. I tried so hard to finish, but it's just so bad. Do not waste your time on this book. Life's too short for crap like this steaming hot pile of shit. Very emphatic. This book should be thrown into the embers. Unoriginal. The title should have been The Paraphrasing of Harry Potter Novels. I read 150 pages before I could conclude that this novel was a waste of time. Shallow characters, simple dialogue, and silly plot made me wonder how this book could get any awards of any type. And no, Rothfuss, this book was not even funny either. No, Pat, no, it wasn't. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Pat? I, for one, would rather shred and burn my $10. I promise it'll provide you with far more light and warmth than you'll find from this pretentious drivel. <laughs> the book is flatter than a warm can of Sprite. No pop, no sizzle, and nothing that you'll remember in a week unless you're prone to disappointment like I am. Dull. JK Rowling is spinning in her grave. She's not dead. God, okay. This thing moves at a pace that makes a glacier look like it could outrun a cheetah. This is the most boring story of revenge I've ever encountered. I have to say, I will take superlatives wherever I can get them. This book was like reading someone's 18th century Facebook wall. <laughs> no thanks. I honestly would be surprised if he stole every word slash page slash idea of this book from a nerdy, pimply-faced freshman in high school, and honestly, even if it was me who had written this in high school as a freshman, I would hope my friends would at least have the sense to make fun of me and crack jokes behind my back about how utterly stupid and unoriginal my book was. Okay, I don't mean to criticize this one star review, but I do think that the first sentence is actually supposed to say, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he stole every word slash page slash idea of this book from a nerdy pimply faced freshman in high school. Again, don't really want to criticize, but come on, have a little craft. This has as much to do with sci-fi as Harry Potter. Besides, it's sheer boredom to the limit. A simpleton idea, poorly realized. It's one of the most uninteresting books I've ever read. Another superlative right there. That's doing pretty good. I don't really know why I can't love this one like everyone else. I genuinely feel like I have to crawl under a rock now. 1.5 stars. Okay, we're gonna get colloquial now. This book was full of boring and reeked of terrible poetry and Rothfuss's greed. This book is a shade of green like vomit. <laughs> and Leckie only shows and or reads emotion in eyebrows. I'd rather get a root canal than read John Scalzi. Fair enough. Oh, oh, three damning words. Twilight for boys. <laughs> I don't think I've read such an interesting concept made so flat, so humdrum, and at times, if my head weren't throbbing from the dullness, laughable. I have to thank everybody for those superlatives. Those are fabulous. You don't always get a lot of the most this and the most that. Bad. <laughs> 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 